Hi film friends, a couple of months back, the Photography Society of NUS did a workshop where they invited me to try out shooting with Polaroid cameras. I filmed my experience with Emmanuel and Sterling, so here is me sharing it with you. They were generous enough to lend us a Polaroid 600 lens camera and also provided us with one pack of black and white film and one pack of colour film. We loaded the black and white film first because I have never encountered Polaroid black and white before and was super curious to see how it would turn out. Loading it in was pretty easy, just put the pack in and close the lid. A dark side should then pop out and you can opt to smell it like sterling to get that fresh film smell. No judgments here. The black and white film has an ASA of 640 which surprised me because I always thought that the Polaroid films needed a lot more light to be exposed. Guess I was wrong here. It's pretty cool to find out that the Polaroid camera uses a really primitive method to changing focal lengths and exposure. Basically, it slides a filter in front of the lens and the viewfinder. And to change the exposure, it allows more or less light into a light meter with the filter. In any case, I found this really fascinating and a great way to cheaply create a solution. Honestly though, using a Polaroid feels like I'm learning how to use a completely new system. It's nothing like film cameras, at least for this camera. The shutter button and triggering the flash is in the same place and you might trigger the flash accidentally if you don't know how to use it. At least in my experience. It's definitely something I can't just pick up without a manual and figure out how to use. Also, I found out that the film has to be kept in the dark while developing and usually the camera would pop out a shade with the film to keep it away from the light once a shot has been taken. But there was something faulty about this camera that didn't allow that to happen. Shooting it feels a lot like shooting with the Holga in terms of the settings you can adjust. There's very little things to manipulate, no aperture or shutter speed to change, which actually leaves more room to think about how you want to frame subjects and how you wish to capture them. Also, being able to see the results of your shot almost instantly helps as well, since you would know that this is the correct exposure for this amount of light. Instant gratification is the phrase that I'm looking for here. Being able to know immediately or immediate enough without having to wait for 2-3 to three days feels good. But at the same time, I kind of miss the uncertainty of shooting with film, not knowing if the shot will be good or not. I know, it's weird. So, black and white instant film, how did it fare? Pretty good when you look at it once it develops but slowly it turns sepia toned. Still monocolor, but definitely not black and white anymore. Unfortunately, we did not scan our photos immediately, so we weren't able to retain the black and white tones digitally. In any case, it was still pretty cool to see black and white instant film. And as someone who has recently started enjoying a lot more black and white photography, I definitely enjoyed shooting with this pack. Now we switch to color. The color film has an ASA of 640 as well. All of the colour films in our pack took on this pink tone once developed, so I would not say that it's true to the colours of the environment. And I know I'll get flamed for this, but the colour shift makes me feel that Insect's film is better than Polaroid Originals, at least its emulsion is. Although I have to say, Polaroids are larger and you do have the added advantage of using those original Polaroid cameras which looks way cooler. With that said, I feel like there's still room for these films to improve. Look at Pale Park films, the colours are so beautiful, it looks like it's been developed and printed from a roll of negatives. So here are my concluding thoughts. I did enjoy shooting Polaroids a lot and it's definitely really cool to be using old cameras. Not to mention being able to mod some cameras to take Polaroid pack films. But it's quite expensive to shoot Polaroids at more than $20 per pack which is 10 shots so that's like $2 per shot or more. And with the colour shifts, I don't think it's that worth it. However, Polaroid cameras are pretty cheap to come by and if you're looking for a more novel medium to do photography, you should totally give it a try. I feel that for me personally, storage would be another problem when it comes to shooting Polaroid because I just don't have much space at home. 
and since polaroids do take up more space than negative film, it will become a problem eventually. All in all, polaroids, not for me, but maybe you would love it so much that the cost is a small factor. Who knows, maybe when the emotions get better, I'll start shooting polaroid in the future. Anyway, we are reaching the end of our video, so I would like to say thank you to NUSPS for having us. And of course, Emmanuel and Sterling for helping me out with the video. Links to their social media down below. Do help us out by sharing the video, giving it a thumbs up and of course subscribing. Tell us your thoughts about this in the comments below. We will respond to it as soon as we can. And till the next video, bye.